Hi guys, my name is Daisy. Today we are gonna make a little bird out of a pinch pot. Just one pinch pot. It's a super easy one. Um, and disclaimer, I did not come up with this myself. Um, I actually got it from Amico's website. They have these really cool um, lesson plans for teachers and um, I needed Someone's upset. Mira, 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 bebe. Hola, bebe. This little potter is becoming Hola. more and more curious about everything, so he'll be observing today's Hola, project bebe. just like you. After wedging and patting the clay into a ball, you can begin your pinch pot by pushing your thumb into the center. Leave a small amount at the bottom and remember to add moisture as you need so that your clay stays plastic and pliable. Smooth out any cracks as you go. Pinch and rotate. If you need help creating your pinch pot, I have a more detailed video linked in the description. Your next step will include scoring and slipping the pinch pot. I like to use a serrated rib, but you can use whatever tool you have on hand to create those hatch marks. Make sure there are plenty and that they dig deep into the clay. This will help the clay connect at the seam. Now you can add slip or create slip by adding water and then creating more hatch marks. Slip is just liquid clay that acts like glue. Now you can start to blend. When blending, I always scratch the surface to release more clay. This helps the clay to hide the seam. Sometimes it also helps to add a coil and then use that extra coil to fill the gaps in the seam. Allow this time with the clay to slow you down and give you a break from the outside world. It's hard to find a time to create in peace, but finding a way is totally worth it. There's nothing like working with your hands and making something out of the earth. My helpful assistant brought me a damp sponge so I can clean my hands and my work area while I'm working. This helps to keep the work look more neat. Once your bird is seamless, you can start to form the tail and the head. It is helpful to look at an example, so pull up a picture of a bird, stylized or real life. Use your fingers to model the clay into the desired shape. Keep it simple, just capture the essence of the bird. Round the head and use some extra clay for the beak if you need it. A wooden tool can help model the beak. The table or wooden paddle can create a flat base at the bottom. Before allowing your bird to dry, make sure to make a hole at the base of the bird to allow it to release moisture for proper drying and firing. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found the tips helpful for creating this little bird. Remember to check out the Amico link in the description so that you can see the original lesson plan and check out our channel for more pottery and ceramics related content. Thank you. See you next time.